Oh, oh my mat is so cold. <laughs> so starting out standing on your mat and taking a wider stance, not like a super wide stance, but wider than hip width. And let's close the eyes and we're gonna begin with some shoulder rolls, just getting in touch with the breath. Inhaling, lifting the shoulders to the ears. Exhale, out the mouth, down the back. Again. Again. And then standing for just a moment, stillness. Connecting with the breath, connecting the earth through the soles of the feet, breathing up from the earth. And breathing back down to the earth. So I was talking with one of the members of the Vitality Circle yesterday about this practice of Tonglen, which is a meditation practice, which is to breathe in recognition of all the suffering in the world, and then to breathe out love. And it's not about making any particular distinction in the suffering or in the love. It's just the awareness of breathing in the awareness of suffering and breathing out love. What we're sharing back into the world is healing. So as we practice today, you can come back to that awareness, breathing in the awareness of the suffering and breathing out love and how we can do that for ourselves to breathing in our own suffering, just acknowledging it and breathing out love. Nice. Gently opening your eyes. Let's begin to swing side to side here and lifting the opposite heel. And there's the sun. Come warm us, sun. And coming back to center, let's do some hip circles. Just waking up the hips, the body. And going back the other way. Nice. And coming back to center, bringing your hands to your back body against the soft part of your back in between your ribs and your hips. Take an inhale, lifting the heart. And as you exhale, fold forward, sliding the hands down the backs of the legs. Soft knees, inhale, coming up the front of the legs, up to the ribs, reaching up to the sky. Soft knees, looking up, greeting the day. And then exhale, bring the hands back to the kidneys. Inhale here. Exhale, sliding the hands down the backs of the legs. Inhale, coming up the front and reaching to the sky, opening the palms, soft knees. Exhale, coming down a couple more times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, coming back up. Reaching up, then exhale back to the kidneys one more time. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, come back up, reach to the sky. And exhale, bringing the arms down. We're gonna do a little waking up for the um, ankles and feet. So shifting your weight over to your right foot, picking the left up and just circling 
the foot and back the other way, left foot, switching sides, lifting right foot up, circling the foot and back the other way, rotating through that ankle, shifting back right leg supporting, lift the left up and we're going to circle from the knee. It helps to find a focal point on the floor in front of you. Go back the other way. Waking up here. And then switching legs. Shifting to the left. Lifting right up. Circling from the knee like you're stirring a pot. And then going back the other way. And then putting that foot down, switching back, right leg supporting, left leg lifts. Now we're going to circle from the hip. You're also welcome to hold on to a piece of furniture or the wall if you need to inside your house. Go back the other way. And that foot comes down, switching sides. Right leg circling from the hip. And going back the other way. And putting that foot down, inhale, lifting up onto the balls of the feet, lifting heels up, exhale, back down. Again, inhale, lifting up, and exhale down. <laughs> inhale, lifting up, exhale down. One more time, inhale, lifting up, exhale down. Nice. So we're going to start coming into a flow at the top of the mat. We'll start slow, let our bodies warm up, and then we'll add on. So finding Tadasana pose, the hip width apart, spreading the toes wide, pressing them down into the floor, lifting the heart, soft knees, shoulders sliding down the back, and pull the chin back slightly, strong pose, strong mountain pose, bringing the hands to the heart. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, bend the knees, swan dive forward. Inhale, flat back hands to the shins. Exhale down, place the hand, step the right foot back behind you. High or low lunge, finding your balance. Inhale, lifting the arms up. And while you're holding here, we're going to do some breath of fire to warm up. Slow if you don't need much more. Faster if you want more warmth. So that's a forceful exhale out the nose, passive inhale through the nose. And pulling the belly in with your exhale. Looks and sounds like this. Speed up. One more inhale. And exhale. Lowering hands to the floor. Press back. Down dog. Walking out your dog here. First down dog of the day. Inhale, pulling forward to a plank pose, top of a push-up, holding here. And engaging your core. Inhale, press back, down, down. Exhale here. Inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Exhale, bring it through top of the mat. High or low lunge, finding your balance. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhale, touch the mat. Inhale, step forward, top of the mat. Exhale, hang in a forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up, standing all the way up, palms pressed together. 
exhale hands to the heart so in between our little flows we'll do the other side in just a moment we're gonna do a little squatting and jumping so I'm gonna turn to face you just to teach it to you so we're gonna bring the feet as wide as the mat and we're gonna do two squats so hands just stay at the heart two squats down and then jump the feet in and out okay so it's squat squat and then in out squat squat in out one more time squat in out nice i guess we'll do one more squat at the end there inhale lifting up and exhale swan dive forward inhale flat back lengthen the spine Exhale down, place the hand, step the left foot back behind you, high or low lunge, finding your balance. Inhale, lifting the arms up, holding here, strong legs supporting you. If you feel unsteady, drop that back knee. We'll begin breath of fire. Deep inhale, exhale, touch the mass. Inhale, press back, down dog, exhale here. Inhale forward, plank pose, top of a push up, holding here. Puffing up in between the shoulder blades. With your next inhale, engage the core, press back, down dog. Exhale here. Inhale, lift the left leg to the skies. Exhale, bring it through top of the mat, high or low lunge, finding your balance. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhale, touch the mat. Inhale, step forward. Forward fold. Exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Standing all the way up. Palms pressed together. Exhale, hands to the heart, bringing your feet as wide as your mat. We'll do four little squat, squat, jump in, jump out. Here we go. Exhale down. Jump in, jump out. One, two, in, out. One, two, in, out. One, last one. Two, in, out. <laughs> Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, flat back, lengthen the spine. Exhale down, place the hand, step the right foot back behind you, high or low lunge, finding your balance. Feel free to put a blanket under that knee if you'd like. Finding your strong lunge here, strong legs. And again, breath of fire at whatever pace feels good to you. Exhale, touch the mat. Inhale, press back. Down dog, exhale here. Inhale, pulling forward to a plank pose. This time, rolling over onto your right side and then putting your left leg behind you if you want to. It looks like this. So you can do a side plank if you want to or you can place your left leg behind you and come into a wild thing. Leaning back and then coming forward, making your way to a down dog. Nice. With your next inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Exhale, bring it through top of the mat, keeping the left hand on the floor. Inhale, lift the right arm up into a twist. You can drop that back knee too if you would like. Whatever feels good best to you this morning. One more inhale. 
And exhale, lower the right hand down. Inhale, step left foot, top of the mat. Exhale, hang forward, fold. Inhale, soft knees, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, palms press together. Exhale to the heart. Bringing the feet out wide again. So remember as we're flowing here, doing what you can, making it fun and engaging for yourself. No pressure to do everything. So two squats. One, two, and then hop in and out. One, two, and out. And out one more time. See if we feel this in our glutes tomorrow. And coming back to Dasana. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, flat back, lengthen the spine. Exhale down, place the hands, step the left foot back behind you, finding your balance. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Strong lunge, you're welcome to drop that back knee if you'd like. And finding your breath of fire at your own pace. Exhale, touch the mat. Inhale, press back. Down dog. Exhale here. Inhale, pull forward to a plank pose. You're welcome to hold here. You're welcome to drop your knees. If you'd like to go further, side plank. And if you'd like to go further still, dropping the right foot back behind the left leg and leaning back. Wild leg. And coming back to your down dog from wherever you chose to be. With your next inhale, lift your left leg to the sky. Exhale, bring it through top of the mat. You can drop the right knee if you'd like. Keep the right hand on the mat. Inhale, lifting into a twist. Left arm lift. One more inhale, and exhale, lowering down. Inhale, step forward with the right foot. Exhale, hang forward, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up, standing all the way up, palms pressed together. Exhale, hands to the heart, bringing the feet wide. We'll do our little round of squats and jump. Four rounds. Coming up, inhale, reaching up, exhale, swan dive forward, inhale, flat back, lengthen the spine, exhale, down, place the hand, step the right foot back behind you, pivoting the heel to the floor, and windmilling the arms up for a warrior two, looking out over the left fingertips, my fingertips are so cold. <laughs> And pulling the ribs back in alignment with your hips. With your next inhale, reach the arms up over your head. Exhale, opening them out wide, sink a little lower. Coming back to that breath we started with. Inhale, breathing in the suffering. Exhale, breathing out love. Two more times. Inhale, lifting the arms up again. And then exhale, bringing the hands down to the mat, framing the left foot. Press back, down dog. Walking out your dog. Mm. 
And with your next inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Exhale, bring it through for a pigeon pose. This side, so we're gonna place the hand, sorry, the knee behind the right hand and sliding the left leg. So we're moving towards um, dropping the hips squarely to the ground. If this is not available to you, you can also come onto your back, do a figure four stretch where the right ankle is to the left knee and bringing your left leg in towards your heart. So finding whatever version of this pose works for you. A little deeper hip stretch here. You can also grab your blanket and put it underneath the right hip to prop it up so we don't want to be falling over on the right hip. Hips are square. So coming up onto your finger pads or wrists or fists, Take an inhale here, and exhale, folding forward, out over that leg. Inhale, rounding up, coming back up. Exhale, folding forward. One more time. Inhale, coming back up. Placing the hands, curling the right toes under, sorry, left toes under, press back with the right leg, down dog. Take move the blanket out of the way, in right leg to the sky. Exhale, bring it through top of the mat, high or low lunge, finding your balance. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhale, touch the mat. Inhale, step forward, top of the mat. Exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up, standing all the way up, palms pressed together. Exhale, hands to the heart. Do our little squat and jump if you're up for it. If not, you can do something else. <laughs> or just squatting maybe. One, two, jump in, jump out. One more. Nice, and then coming to the top of your mat. Inhale, sweeping the arms out and up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, flat back, lengthen the spine. Exhale down, place the hands. Step the left foot back behind you, pivoting the heel to the floor. Windmilling the arms up for a warrior two this side pulling the ribs back tracking right knee over right toes to the outside edge of the left leg strong breath inhale bringing the arms up breathing in the suffering exhale opening into love inhale suffering breathing in exhale love out into the world inhale lifting up and exhale bringing the hands down framing the foot press back right knee right foot joins the left down dog walking out the dog inhale pulling forward Link pose. Welcome to stay here. And then get core. Press back, down dog. Inhale, lift the left leg to the sky. Exhale, bring it through. Pigeon pose on this side. Sliding the right leg back. You can bring your blanket underneath your hip if you'd like. Lifting up nice and tall through the torso. Fill the heart with breath. Exhale, folding forward out over the leg. Inhale, coming back up. You're welcome to do your figure four stretch on your back too if this pose isn't available to you today. Exhale, folding forward. Oops, there goes an earring. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, holding forward. 
Inhale, coming back up. And placing the hands, curling the right toes under, press back. You are down, dog. And with your next inhale, lifting your left leg to the sky. Exhale, bring it through top of the mat, high or low lunge, finding your balance. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhale, touch the mat. Inhale, step forward, top of the mat. Exhale, hang forward, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up, standing all the way up, palms pressed together. Exhale, hands to the heart. Last round of jumps if you're up for it. If not, you can just come to a balancing squat. Here we go, four rounds. We're getting a little warmer. Let's do one more. All right. And then standing here, swinging the arms side to side. And hands to the hips, hip circles. And going back the other way. Nice, and coming down to your mat. I'm gonna sit for just a moment in any position that's comfortable for you, sitting up on the edge of your blanket, maybe cross-legged or legs stretched out in front of you. Closing your eyes, and coming back to the breath, the practice of Tonglen. momentary meditation, breathing in awareness of suffering, breathing out love. Even with the breath, we have the power to transform suffering to love. Few breaths here, staying with this focus in the mind. Inhale, suffering, exhale, love. Noticing how that might shift something inside you, body, mind, or spirit. The awareness. You can hold it all. There's space for everything. And making your way from here down onto your back. Perhaps a blanket under your head or your knees. When you get onto your back, hugging your knees into your chest. So rocking a little side to side here. And then letting the knees come away from each other, reach through the inside of the knees, grab onto the outside of the feet or the ankles for a happy baby pose. If there's any final poses you would like to find before coming to Shavasana, feel free. Otherwise, stretching out long on your back. Setting yourself up well, supported, warm, cool, whatever you need in your environment. <laughs> Take a couple letting go breaths. Deep inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth.
just resting, letting everything be exactly as it is. The breath, the body, the mind. back to the surface of your body, beginning to deepen your breath, and connect with the satisfaction of where you are in this moment, right here, having completed a yoga practice today, the birds are cheering for you. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. And as you're ready, bend one knee and then the other, placing your feet on the floor. And come to rest over on your right side. Taking a breath here and keeping your eyes closed and your attention internal. Gently press your way up to find a seat. Sitting with your eyes closed, allow these words by Gil Headley to wash over you. Until you resolve the dissatisfaction in yourself, no person, place, thing, or experience, here or there, will ever be seen for what they are. They will ultimately be objects of your temporary attachment and certain eventual disappointment rather than your appreciation. For the whole world to become heavenly treasure in your eyes, you must become heavenly treasure to yourself. Where to start? Accept and love where and who you are. Bringing your hands together in front of your heart. Pressing your thumbs in to feel your heartbeat, your personal pulse. And take a deep breath, breathing in the suffering, transforming that inside yourself and breathing out love. I thank you all for joining me for practice today. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste.